Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the third episode of Neighbors Trash, My Treasure. We are working on the Shuttle X. This is the motherboard. Basically, I'm gonna try to clean this off today. Uh, just getting it down to where we can see what's going on with it. I'm not really, you know, prepared to go full in depth. I mean, it is just covered in some grime and some dust really bad here. I mean, we got some funk. We've got some funk. I have previously uninstalled the RAM. We've got one 512 of Mushkin, one 512 of the Crucial. Now, I believe I have some Crucial from the other, from one of the other units out there, so we might be in luck with pairing a set of Crucial. I mean, I, I think we've got some Mushkin too, but Mushkin, I'm just kidding. Actually, I've got some Mushkin around here. Um, that's doing pretty good. Um, so I don't really, I, don't, I, I mean, it, it seems like it's an off brand, but it seems like it's been around for quite some time. You always hear of the crucial, you have your crucials, you got your, uh, your, your team guy, your team groups. <laughs> you know, a lot of people use team group, crucial, Corsair. Uh, those are the, the, the ones that come to mind as far as, um, as far as memory goes, but Mushkin, it just, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. We'll, we'll go off the tangent there. Uh, but on this motherboard, we have the socket 462, which dates back to the Athlon days. I've got two Athlon processors and One's a 2.2, one's a 2.5 gigahertz. Oh, I'm sure it's not gonna make too much of a difference, but we'll play with them anyways. Uh, they're the old style chips that don't have a heat spreader on it. I'm sure that um, during that time, I think Intel was you know, using the integrated heat spreaders, uh, but AMD was soon to catch up with that in their next lineup with the uh, uh, Athlon 64, Opteron, and Semperon. These are the big boys. These are the 130 mil. Um, and I think the big thing I wanna work on here is getting getting this little fan and heat spreader cleaned up. And then on top of that, we can go ahead and install this into the chassis. I bought a new ITX power supply. Hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, then we're going to be taking the old power supply outside and plugging it in and seeing if it works without catching fire. And then we, we might be okay after that. It'd be kind of fun to kind of mess with, put some Windows XP on it, maybe some Nintendo games. Just kind of play with it. You know, I mean, it's old, fun tech that we get to play with. The off note here, I did get some non-genuine I fix it tools from Amazon for $34. I mean, this thing comes loaded. It's pretty good. And it's got more stuff too. I mean, the, the, this pouch with a bunch of other things and spudgers and spreaders and this thing and everything's magnetic. So it's just really, really nice to work with. Um, enough words, let's get started. That's an NVIDIA chip right there. Wow, hold up. And this thermal paste isn't... 
isn't beat to shit either. NVIDIA IPG Triforce. What is it? What is it? Enforce 2. Okay. Oh, Did this thing game? Wow. Okay. So these aren't exactly the same, but they are Mushkin. They are 512 megabytes each. They both uh, boast PC 3200 on each. Um, as far as, yeah, even the, uh, the DDR SKU here is 991093. So I don't see any, uh, I don't see any major differences here. So we're gonna pop these in and, um, you know, have something at least similar and matching. Okay. So these are 400 megahertz a piece. That old familiar click. Perfect, but we make it work. Oh. Ah, scared me. <sighs> Sound like I stepped on the cat. Okay. So originally, 
This guy came with the Athlon 2200, well, the ADA 2200. Um, but I found in another unit where the uh, socket broke straight off, it was the Athlon 2500, the ADA 2500, right? No, actually it's the uh, AXMH 2500, but still. My guess is to drop the 2500 in and then We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit. There's so much corrosion on that. And it's filthy. At least this one has a, looks like it's got a more of a fighting chance of working. Oh yeah. I don't trust the 2500 anymore. I gotta say though, this thing looks more robust. The way how the uh, little chiplets stand out versus this one. I don't know. Well, it's about the same, I guess. I think it's just cleaner. So, what I'm using here is the TM30. I got it at Best Buy. It's from Corsair. And uh, I'm just gonna add a little drop to this. Drop it into there. Put that all into here. We'll be good to go. One thing that I do know from listening to a lot of a lot of guys is these dies can crack. So I just hope I've got the right mounting pressure. We're just gonna do that. That's all I'm doing to that. Now, let's try out this new power supply, shall we? Ah. This is a pretty solid upgrade if this works. The last um, power supply, in the last video I said it was 120 watts. It's, it was really a 200 watt uh, power supply. This is a 300 watt power supply. See if it fits. Do it, do it, do indeed. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. Sick. We just may have ourselves a, a working little PC here. I mean, mind you, I don't have any uh, hard drives for it. Well, I mean, it came with one. Maybe it still works. Doubt it. Hopefully not. <laughs> I might have one though. I think I've got an old parallel hard drives floating around. Maybe it'll work. <sighs>
Okay, so it does have USB 2 on it. Oh, dude, sweet. Let me go ahead and at least get it started in. This, this old thing here, which Thinking if we should fire it up. All right, everybody, moment of truth. We're gonna see if this thing fires up, gives us some lights. Maybe it won't smoke on us. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Let's get a monitor and stuff and bring it out here, I guess.
Well, that would help. Stink vision. Maybe my monitor sucks. I don't know. I'm not seeing any activity here though. And this thing. And this thing's shooting a code. So, right there, that blinky. And that's a connectivity issue. So. Hmm. Might need to go get an old school keyboard and mouse. That'll suck. All right, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, this obviously seems like it's working in some capacity. Um, I know we couldn't get to display up here. Uh, might be my monitor. Um, could be this old VGA cable that I have. I don't it seemed to be reacting to something, but at the same time, the wireless keyboard that I have didn't really seem to be responding to it. So, I guess we'll try again on another video uh, to see if we can get this thing to actually post something and get going. I'm sure that's what all it is, that it just isn't detecting a keyboard. I, I know that there's something with that, I believe. Anyways, thanks for watching. So if you like what I'm doing here, please like and subscribe, get notified, I am the Dad Nubian.